and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Bookie. We're going to be trying out a new deck today. Um, this is one that we're going to be building around Arena Bookie. Round start, discard your lowest card to draw one. A card that I was actually really impressed with whenever we played the discard aggro deck earlier up here. We're going to be combining that with Twisted Fate because you know with Twisted Fate, you want to draw some cards. You want to draw a lot of cards. And so if we can draw two cards every single turn with the help of Arena Bookie, that should just help out level up Twisted Fate. And so that's what we're going to be combining them with. We're, of course, going to be playing Draven for our other champion. Draven will create those spinning axes. Arena Bookie can discard the spinning axe to help us draw an additional card. Um, we also have cards like Yordle Grifter that will create Warning Shot, and we can uh, discard Warning Shot as well as like a zero mana card to draw another card. Or, you know, maybe we'll use that for Riptide Rex later on. Um, but yeah, we just got a lot of card advantage in here. You know, Jaw Hunters can create some sea monsters. And uh, if. Sorry. If we're playing like our other stuff, we can like, you know, discard the sea monsters to keep drawing more cards. Or, you know, we have stuff like Pool Shark that can be another. Um, extra draw but maybe maybe there's like a spot like where we don't really need to play pool shark because it's just um you know it's just a one two later on and if that's the case we can just discard pool shark and I, you know like there's nothing really wrong with discarding pool shark sometimes ravenous flock can do four damage other times it doesn't really do very much if it's not really doing very much we're you know discarding it to arena bookie finding something else uh so yeah it could be just pretty fun deck you know like we just got a lot of different things um you know, we have like Vulnerable in here with Hired Gun that could be cool with Draven with the Quick Attack or with Twisted Fate with the Quick Attack. Um, I, I wanted, I started originally, I was going to play Legion Grenadier. I think pretty highly of Legion Grenadier being a 3 2 now um, with this ability. I think this is a good card. And I think the Legion Grenadier is probably better than Hired Gun for this deck. But I wanted to, um, because of Yordle Grifter, I wanted to have more Bilge Water cards, and so we're going to go Higher Gun instead of Grenadier, even though I think Grenadier is better to, for Yordle Grifter. Um, but uh, there we go. That's that's the uh, that's the deck. Uh, as far as I know, the stream should be good. Here we go. Let's let's go play five games over in ranked. As far as I know. As far as I know, stream's fine. It's weird, suddenly nobody's talking in Twitch chat. Something may have just gone wrong with Twitch. Who knows? Anyway, I should still be recording. Um, let's see, playing against the deep deck. How would I, how would I sequence this? We go pool shark turn one, hit him, play jagged butcher as a three, three, and we just get that card we draw just goes away. Is that what I want? Or would I rather have the two, two? It's not a bad card. Hmm. I'm just going to keep this. I'm going to see how this works. I like that Death's Hand against the 3-2. Um, you know, both of their 3 drops. You know, Jaw Hunters and the 3-2 uh, Lifesteal. I like the Death's Hand against both of them. Yeah, I started with Warning Shot in this deck. Man, look at how good we are at this game. I did start with Yordle Grifter in this deck. Um, did I say Yorgrift? Warning Shot. Sorry. I started with Warning Shot. There we go. But I had to just cut down cards, and it was just a card that I, you know, just looking through, like, there was just not very much that I wanted to cut, and I just have, I just decided to cut Warning Shots. Because there's not a, a lot of uses for Warning Shot in our deck, and just decided to cut it. But yeah, I do like Warning Shot. Sorry, that was kind of a mess. They only gain one life. 
and they did use all of their mana. You just go straight to attacks, we do 4 damage. If they play a 3 drop, I kill it with Death Sand. If they play Maokai, I kill it with Pulling Strike. Um, if I play Yordle Grifter, then they get to play Maokai and untap with Maokai, and I don't really want that to happen. So this is just a nice Pulling Strike. And yeah, if we find Arena Bookie, we get to turn Spinning Axe into a real card, so that's pretty cool. Where do you stand on cold shots? No, rip that bricks. Sorry, Riptide. I think I just go to attacks, don't I? I guess. So then the 1-4 the kills my 3-1. I guess. This is a good bookie. The, the problem is I just don't know what they're going to discard between Spinning Axe and Warning Shots with the bookie. I think that they discard... Huh. I think they're going to discard the warning shot because it's on the right and this one's on the left. At least that's what, that's what it, from playing the arena bookie previously, that's what it kind of feels like may happen. When you want a job done right. So basically what I'm saying, I could just cast the warning shot and then if I cast warning shot then they're definitely discarding Spinning Axe. Oh, I should I should have just played Spinning Axe and discarded this Riptide Rex and dealt one more damage, shouldn't I? Maybe I should have just done that. Or I could have killed the Thorny Toad. I, I don't know why I wasn't even thinking about doing that. I guess. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing. My money, my okay, they discarded. They did discard left to right. I thought earlier it, discard, it discarded the card on the right earlier, so... I don't know, is it random? Maybe it's just random. Bookie's not a new card, but it changed. It was this exact same thing, but it cost three mana and was a two one. And so they cut it down to two mana and make it made it a two two. So now it's much more desirable to play. That's This is the second time that I've had cards tied. And the first time the card on the right was discarded. This time the card on the left was discarded. I don't know if... I don't know if there's a pattern, if it's random. My guess is random. Alright, so they're going to be deep next turn. Kind of feel like I might as well just play this death hand and kill that thing. They're, they're going to be deep anyway. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Um, I want to discard Jettison. I don't want to discard Warning Shots. Hey, Kimonito. I don't want to discard warning shots. Get bloody, get paid. All right, we'll see. 
We'll see if we discard the card on the left again. Maybe we'll discard the one on the right. I would rather discard Jettison, of course. But I guess Jettison helps out Shipwreck Order. Yeah, we discard Jettison, the one on the right. So I'm guessing it's random. I'm guessing it's random. That's my very uneducated guess. Let's get another bookie in play. Whoa, you look at these Keep drawing some cards. What we gotta do is find two points of damage. Yeah, get some treasure troves and some plate worm eggs. I don't really know what I'm doing with plate worm eggs and treasure troves. I kind of have a full board right now. <laughs> let's go, let's find some treasures. I mean, might as well play this treasure trove, right? Just see what happens. Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll find some cool things. Come on, Teemo. Help me out. Deal one to an enemy? Does that count? Does that count the Nexus? Down to one. Y'all think this does the Nexus? Um, eh, might as well find out. Okay, the answer is no. It does not. Good to know. Let's play this thing. me, please calm yourself. Drag them down. What are we going to create? Trifarian Glory Seeker. Alright. Um, so I only need one. I guess the problem here is... Oh, yeah, because I don't have actual warning shots. Like, we're basically going to be looking for, like, Yordle Drifter. Right? I don't know. You're going to be big. Hope that's all right. Are you even worth playing? Not really. I guess I should have played it first and dealt one damage to that thing and then played the other thing. No, 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 no. I need that Mega Rain. No. Okay, cool. Yordle Drifter. Cool. Warning. All right. <laughs> so we were digging. We were digging for Yordle Grifter, Twisted Fate. Um, yeah, I mean, Yordle Grifter is the card to play. Because they can't play... They have to have Burst Speed, Life Gain. They can't just play Withering Whale, Vile Feast, that kind of stuff, because then I kill them. All right, GGs. Yeah, so I could have had a 7-5, but I thought it was more more useful to dig towards Yordle Grifter that just instantly kills my opponent. Um, just getting another draw step towards Yordle Grifter. Whoa, cancel. What are we doing? What do we get? What do we get? Cool. Oh, we got, got this one also? Thousand shards. Cool. Now we're at 30. It's down here. 30 petals. And we need 40 to swoon. 
Um, play Twisted Bookie. Yeah. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, make it rain being discarded. That that got scary. So we're at 181. We started today at 100. So we've gone up 81 LP with our 8 and 3 record. the day. That was a pretty fun game, though. Definitely got really lucky on turn one last game. What are we playing against? Thresh locks? This is going to be tough. I'm going to mulligan all of these. So I want to get rid of the Grifter. No, Grifter is going to steal good stuff. Ugh, I don't really need three four mana cards. I assume they're going to be trying to play Remembrance. Time to make some coin. Now we'll be able to play Merchant and Butcher. Darn. Oh, they have their best art. Oh no, that's the worst thing for us to see. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. That is the worst card for us to see. The tough card. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't stop the, yeah, the make it rain discard, but yeah, that was, that was sad. I can't stop it. Uh, let's see, this would do two damage to that thing. So this would do two damage, put it down to three health, and then I could Jaw Hunters to kill it. But Jaw Hunters kill it next turn is Radiant Guardian turn. Yuck. That doesn't sound appealing. I will refill my spell mana, draw a card. Unfortunate because of my Yordle Grifters, but reasonable all or nonetheless, nonetheless. So plan is plan is level up dissipate. That didn't seem like a very good plan against the three five challenger. Instincts are telling me. Right out. Hmm. You poor thing. I'll be kind of surprised if we win this game. To be honest. be a little surprised yeah like un this is just a tough matchup like they have a lot of things that match up really well like especially yeah like unyielding spirit just gg <laughs> yeah sure just have that thing too uh yeah this is can't win them all 
We can have card advantage for days, but incredibly large, tough things and unyielding spirit and thresh. This is not ideal. Am I going to... Yeah, I'm going to just try to attack with Abyssal Eye, I suppose. Yeah, Unyielding Spirit does seem like a not like a pretty good place to be right now if people are playing less uh, less Will of Ionia. I need that Jaw Hunters, obviously. Like both Jaw Hunters would have been great. All right, I surrender. That's just gonna be a loss, and I don't have the heart to just be losing for the next five, six turns before we actually lose. There's not really, our cards are not powerful. Like that's, that's a deck with a ton of power and our cards are not as powerful. We just have to have a lot, we have a lot more of them. The box killing both those chal four one challengers. It's a big time dagger. Swain Lux. Yeah, maybe Unyielding Spirit. A lot of people are all, are all over Unyielding Spirit. I don't love the deck choice. I want to steal Unyielding Spirit from them. Can we do that? Can we nab it? Where do you stand on Cold Shot? All right, so basically, this is a one mana one to obliterate the top card of your deck. <laughs> right, like we're just gonna be obliterating that card. Maybe it's a black market merchant. Oh, Jagged Butcher. Give us some room. Hmm, that is enticing to play Jagged Butcher instead of black market merchant. <sighs> All right, I guess we will. Started without me. Probably worth it. I like the turn two house spider. That means not turn three remembrance. I'm glad for that. And we'll have black market merchant probably after we create warning shot with Yorl Grifter. Blood and guts, golden glory. to fight through to get rich. but we gotta start somewhere the deck does a good job of drawing cards that's not good please don't have the tough okay it's not tough we can work with that Do need to be worried about Radiant Guardian. Yeah, they they look like they're trying to set up Radiant Guardian. So normally I think I block. Because the cards are gonna trade anyway. But I am scared of Radiant Guardian. Now, the question is, how do I just stop next turn's Radiant Guardian? I don't like that. I was hoping they would just have single combat for a removal spell, but Noxus has a lot of removal. 
All right, well, I can kill one of these things with Death's, Death's Hand. I guess it's the 5-1 Challenger. I know I could use Ravenous Flock on that. But... I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to be devouring the Swiftwing Lancer. Gross. Okay, okay. Now we talking. Never lost a fair game. Let's get some more card draw up in here. Soak it in. Glory, courage, excuses for war. Man, I want to play Bookie. Bookie will get rid of my warning shots. I could. Maybe, I, maybe I'm supposed to go Black Market Merchant, though. <sighs> tough call, tough call. Bookie. When you want a job done right. Can still go Yordle Grifter, create another warning shot. Black Market Merchant. No. There you go, Ravenous Flock. Seize the opportunity. Might as well trade before again before Radiant Guardian can be played. We can do this. Ten away from deep still. So many away. Skip. I don't know. You could just save four life. That's probably worth it. Just go save four life. Alright, we'll, we'll be able to go Riptide. Oh no! I can't Riptide Rex this next turn. My Warning Shot's going to be discarded. Never mind. I shouldn't have played that. I should have gone Warning Shot Black Market Merchant. I forgot it. I just... Yeah, I just forgot there for a second that it was about to be discarded. All right, so I could go Warning Shot Jagged Butcher and get a 3-3, but then we discard the Merchant, and I definitely don't want to discard the Merchant. Um, dang, yeah, that's my bad. I shouldn't have played that higher gun. That was just... I mean, I should could be going Warning Shot Merchant. Uh, all right. My money, my I don't know. That's why he said BM. Which... BM supposed to be black market? Usually this is BMM. Is that... I don't know if you meant like BM is in like bad manners or something or... Okay, yeah. Okay. No, I, I like playing the bookie there sort of with the Twisted Fate. I don't re regret that. I regret me not just casting Warning Shot and playing Black Market Merchant last turn. Now, what do we want? What do we really, really want? I guess I should tell you what we want. The party has arrived. Hey, Josh. New patch is feeling great. Had 
been having a lot of fun with it. I, I really like River Shaper. That card's awesome. And then, yeah, the new discard cards felt really powerful together. This Arena Bookie went from a card I wasn't interested in playing at all that now it's a now see? it's a real card, to be honest. Now it's something I definitely can keep seeing myself playing. Um... So yeah, I like it. Well, I guess. What are you waiting for? I don't know what I'm waiting for. Draven. This so small, but she ain't lacking courage. Yuck. I wish I could just discard the most expensive card. Time to make some what if Arena Bookie said discard either the. Like, you got to choose, discard the most expensive or least expensive card. I just decided to pass turn, have them use a lot of mana. You know, waste a lot of mana. Yeah, I could have gone challenge, ravenous flock, and then if that would have worked, that would have been good, but then they would have the ability to radiant guardian. All the mana they had. We're six away from deep now with Devour Depths. <laughs> no, not at all, Josh. No, I haven't at all. For conquest, for empire. Lee. This does make using Warning Shot for Riptide Rex really difficult. <laughs> it does. Safety will cost you. Battle stations! You made choices. Hey, Square Slow. Okay, okay. I can work with that. I can work with that. Wayne isn't even leveled up yet, but it's about to be. I don't want to discard Ravenous Flock. Do I do I just cast Ravenous Flock at this 5-5? Five five? Okay, I'm kinda of glad that we free up the that slot. There's plenty of killing left. I'll discard the pool shark. Yeah, I definitely was doing some decisions there with Bookie. You still, you don't like Bookie? I mean, I messed up, I messed up a, you know, like, earlier with the higher gun. That really, that really hurt. Like, this could have looked a lot better if I wouldn't have messed up with that higher gun and just played that Black Market Merchant, merchant earlier with the warning shot and stuff like that. This Bookie's... Gotta be a really good way to level up. Um, it's gotta be a really good way to level up. Uh, Twisted Fate, though, too. This puts them down to seven. 
Oh, and it levels up Lux. That's not cool. I'm gonna cast this Death Hand on this 5 1. It doesn't keep, like, it doesn't affect that Concerted Strike at all, but the reason to do this is now Lux is the only card in play on their side. And maybe they play Swain here, and then that's their second card. But then it just gives it a lot better chance that my Riptide Rex kills Lux. Um, or kills Swain. I, I hope it's not Radiant Guardian. I don't want to see that. Um, I hope it's Swain. Or they just play... Like, ideally they play Final Spark here. That would be the best. Oh, come on, please, no, no Radiant Guardian. Just give me something not tough. Yes, okay. Okay, not perfect, but good enough. You know, like, this is going to kill Lux. Doesn't kill the Lancer. Perfect would have been two on the Lancer, three at Lux. But I'll take the... I'll take this over the other way around. So yeah, going Bookie to level up Twisted Fate super fast. And go find more Twisted Fates and stuff like that. Now, you know, like, Draven's also, of course, really nice with, with Arena Bookie, because we just create the Spinning Axe uh, to be able to discard. I just didn't really want them to challenge the Leviathan. Obviously, my plan is to play Leviathan this turn. I just didn't really want them to challenge Leviathan, and so we had three extra mana. So I played the Draven. They would give me the Spinning Axe, be able to get another good card from Spinning Axe. That's, that's the card that Lancer created. They don't actually have that in their deck, of course. Alright, cool. They're going to deal with Leviathan. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Never saw a Radiant Guardian. Never saw any tough things. That was the problem with the previous matchup against a similar type of deck. Against another Lux deck where their Remembrance got the 5-5 the five, five tough on turn 3. And that's a lot more difficult to deal with. Okay. Uh, we got... Uh, four more petals. GG's. Nope, we're doing. We're playing over in Master's rank. We are rank. We got 180 LP, which I guess it just goes up. The more you play, the more you earn. The more you win. I guess not just play. I liked that bookie. Well, that bookie was pretty sweet. This is probably a decent Make It Rain matchup. I'm keeping Pool Shark, Merchant, Make It Rain. Am I keeping Grifter? I think I keep Grifter too. I mean, I think I just keep this hand. This hand looks pretty good. We're again just going to be obliterating the top card of our deck with Pool Shark. Using turn one Pool Shark to have turn two BMM. Boom. I mean, I think I obliterate the top card. I don't know. Do I play Hired Gun? There's a do I play Lucian? I, guess I should probably play Hired Gun. Man, I just... <laughs> twice in a row that happened. Sorry, Black Market Merchant. There could probably be some justice. Just gotta keep... Keep an open mind. Mm. Let's see. I don't love any choice.
some room. Yeah. Callista will be at one. I think I can death hand Callista afterwards and not if Callista doesn't level up. We'll see. Ugh. I was I did want to just gold card that. Honestly, I kinda wanted to gold card Callista. Yes, we're gonna have to go Death's Hand. Darn. I wanted a gold card. Okay, so now Merchant plus Pool Shark or Twist of Fate. The Twisted Fate level up started. That's a lot of damage would be taken again. Uh, we'll go this route. Okay, okay. Not mad at that. We play in build rules, son. Ah, they missed. Demacia card on top. Mm. Alright, so this is going to cost three mana. So I have three extra mana. So that's like Make It Rain and Vile Feast. Are my plans. Yeah, my plans are make a rain of Vile Feast. Let's go Vile Feast, or do I just play this thing? I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, yeah, we're just gonna play this thing. Okay. Want to see what would happen. I just not, maybe I just don't play Noxion Fervor. Hmm, interesting. Alright, not playing Noxion Fervor. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Going red card. All right, well, I'm going to start my turn with Vile Feast on Wraith Caller. I don't want them to use another Chronicler of Ruin on that. We know they have a Demacia card up first. Like, you know, we knew, we know they just drew a Demacia card. I don't know if, like, Lucian Senna, is that, like, it? Do they have Rally, maybe? I don't know, but I don't want them to just have another Chronicler on that Wraith Caller. That, that could be disastrous. Okay, never mind. That was not good. Not good. Man, I really don't like using this calling strike right here, but. Come on, get rewarded. No, not rewarded. The game. Go on, then. Watch the ball, folks. We, we shall not, rest in not rewarded. Things are so fearsome. I'll play a blocker. Ooh, that could be good. Could be. We're playing unnerfed Black Spear. I'll find vengeance on my own. That's an awesome line. I always like that line. I'll find 
vengeance on my own. Hmm. My deck's not great against Fearsome. I guess that's the thing. Purity and peace. I guess that is a thing. What's the rush, huh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, fearsome's good. Oh, I'm I am on the I'm on the fearsome bandwagon. I talk about how making a three one fearsome's not like not that different from a three one elusive like with Heimerdinger. Uh, I mean, if I play Twisted Fate, then uh, if I do the pick a card, then Twisted Fate levels up. Um, or I go Black Spear and Arena Bookie. Which would not quite level up Twisted Fate, but we would kill Callista. Which I think I have to kill Callista. Yeah, I gotta kill Callista. Decisions, decisions. Level up Twisted Fate would be nice. Alright, we'll go level up Twisted Fate. And instantly punished. Let's end this. Yep. GG. The deck was stacked against us. Sure was. Whoops. I think we found the Demacia card that they had on top. I guess it wasn't that Lucian. I need to win a game with five or less health or attack with four plus units like ten times. Hey, Dan. Dude, everything's going great. Absolutely loving the uh, Hoktai bot. It is doing great. I guess there's one, one small thing about the Hoktai bot is cards get changed with balance patches and oh whoops i need to say that the, the card and the bot doesn't update with like with the new cards uh, yeah for example that's that's a like what braum was about a month ago i don't know if there's like a way to to have them continually continuously update if not it's all good because <laughs> it's still amazing and I am very, very happy about it. All right, we're playing against Deep again. Let's get rid of Yordle Grifter and keep these. I'm not sold of playing turn one Full Shark this game. I don't think I will. I'm gonna kind of save Pool Shark, maybe discard Pool Shark. Maybe discard Ravenous Flock. We'll see. Alright. Flock is gone. I'm pretty sure it's just random. Hey, look at that. We, we went and found a Death Sand. That's pretty good. Alright, so now I can either play the Shark or discard the Shark. And I will discard the Shark. If the Twisted Fate was in play... I play, but we don't need the extra card from it now. Uh. Hmm. I'm worried about Maokai, of course. I don't have a great answer. Like, I could play Jaw Hunters and then see what they do. If they, like, pass priority back to me, I just end the turn. That's not great. But then they can, if I go Jaw Hunters, they could also just file Feast Jaw Hunters and then play Maokai anyway. You are not 
want to hear, intruder. Like that's ever stopped. Eyes open. I'm going to hopefully make it rain kill the sapling. That is my current plan. Make it rain kill the sapling. Which I guess was a risky plan because we had a 50-50 chance of discarding the make it rain right then. So yeah, I guess that was a risky plan. <laughs> Danger pays. Um. Got to trust your instincts. No. And uh. mm. I mean, do I what kind of depths do I go to keep Twisted Fate alive? Do I kill Arena Bookie, kill this to try to keep Twisted Fate alive? No, I think I just kill Twisted Fate and try to kill their Maokai. It's a pretty fun deck though like we have so many decisions every single turn of like what, what we want to do so many sequencing patterns it's um you know it's kind of intense there's a, a lot we could do all right it gets obliterated not cool Now we'll discard Spinning Axe. Ooh. Found a Riptide Rex. That's the good news. The bad news is it's going to be really hard for us to keep a Warning Shot in hand. Because we'll just discard Warning Shots. So... Looks like I'm casting Warning Shot Merchant. Okay. Okay. Don't know what I'm doing with that yet. Probably discarding that. But maybe they'll, they'll kill something. I like seeing that ruination go. My money, my <laughs> and I like that card. They're just trying to do a lot of damage and have Riptide Rex, and now, like, if they would, if they have Glimpse Beyond, you know, we got Noxion Fervor to respond to it. Not Glimpse Beyond, sorry, Grasp the Undying. If they go Grasp the Undying, we would respond with Noxion Fervor. Okay, down to three. Tap out for not to this. Uh, not exactly tapping out. This is probably a safer play. This does three damage to them. Oh. Does it? Or does it only do two? I think it does three. Yeah, it does three. Perfect. Three and two. I don't know, y'all. I kind of like this arena bookie. Our deck isn't... You know, it's not perfect. We have some weaknesses, like Fearsome's kind of difficult. Um, and then huge units with Tough. Tough's kind of difficult. Um, okay, login servers are down, so yeah, hopefully yeah, so hopefully I don't get disconnected. Um, but this was a really fun deck to play, and it had, uh, had a lot of play to it. Um, you know, it was, it was just r real fun with just seeing... 
what was happening. I am a fan of this new arena bookie. I like it. Yeah, don't log out. Um, so that was cool. That was that was a good show in here for the new card. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of play to it. We got to cycle through our deck quite a bit. Our opponents did have good answers for Twisted Fate, but you can you can see how if they're playing a deck, you know, they, they don't have the removal for Twisted Fate, how we can level up Twisted Fate super fast with this deck. Um, so yeah, there we go. I uh, recommend this one. All right, that's it here for Twisted Bookie. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hopefully this gave you some other cool ideas to just brew around Arena Bookie, um, you know, and everything like that. Hope you, hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. It was pretty sweet. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.